Hey guys, so I'm on my way to work and in the interest of trying to get a vlog out every day or every couple days, uh, I decided, you know what, I'll just go ahead and start vlogging interesting stuff or if anything pops into my head, I'll, uh, you know, record or whatever. So I'm on my way to work, uh, lightning and all sorts of crap in the sky. I wanted to bring up Orlando, um, just say my heart goes out to him. Uh, I mean, this is just the terrible news. I heard about it like right before I left work. Uh, I didn't put anything on the vlog about it. Um, the last one, uh, because simply I didn't really uh, fully comprehend what was happening. I mean, I just saw the, the first initial reports of what had happened. And uh, so I just it totally spaced. I didn't realize the full story on what had happened until I woke up uh, this afternoon um, and same thing happened on September 11th when I woke up my wife well she was my girlfriend at the time but my wife now uh, Liz she told me somebody's bombed the World Trade Center and I was thinking oh you know that's already happened that happened back in like the late 90s or something like that whenever the first bombing happened uh, when they took the truck into the parking garage back you know, I'm guessing in the 90s. I can't, I'm not really good with dates. But I, that's what I thought she was talking about. And I was like, you're watching something that I, I, was, I was like, you're watching a show. I don't know how long that light was green. I'll have to look on the video. I just sat there this whole freaking time. I feel like an idiot. But anyway, uh, yeah, she woke me up and told me and I was like, you must be watching like an old news report or like, you know, like one of those shows. I love the 90s or whatever the hell where it like, you know, on VH1, cause that's what channel she was watching. She said, it's on VH1, it's on every channel. And of course I was like, ah, whatever you're watching, it's something you're watching like an old report. And uh, I actually went back to sleep. And, and when I finally woke up and, or when I, I didn't actually fall back asleep, I could hear what they were saying on the news report while I was trying to fall back asleep. And that's what made me get up and, you know, me along with the rest of the country sat there the rest of the morning watching the story of, uh, you know, a terrorist attack on, you know, it was, it was, it was horrible. I mean, it was frightening and it was super, I mean, it was super scary. I mean, there's no other word for it. I was, I'm in Texas. Uh, so I'm like pretty far, you know, I'm pretty far away from where it actually happened, but it was, everyone was scared, Every, especially down in this area of Texas, you know, we got uh, Fort Hood, uh, we got uh, Lockheed Martin not too far away from where we were living at the time. Uh, I mean, just lots of potential targets. And so it was it was frightening. We didn't know, is it over? Because I mean, then it was like the World Trade Center and then like two more planes crashed in the Pentagon and then in the field. And it was just like, holy crap, what's going on? And that's kind of how I'm expecting people to feel today is that, you know, they're scared and they don't know if it was like, uh, you know, just a one guy trying to prove his allegiance to some radical group or if it was he used that and if he was a liar and just like he tried to be like, hey, look, you know, I, I'm, I have ties to ISIS, you know, I'm great. Uh, you know, I have, you know, so you know how some people embellish facts like uh, to make themselves seem more important because they're not important in real life. Just like this guy, he wasn't important in real life. He's not important in his death. I mean, uh, the people he killed, that's who's important. So my heart goes out to uh, everyone in Orlando and uh, you know, the gay community in general, you know, this is just heartbreaking and I mean, I, don't, I really don't know what to say. I, I mean, it's just one of those situations where it's like you feel the grief uh, along with the rest of the country. And But I do want to make one political statement here, and I'm really sorry because I hate being that guy. I hate turning things into political stuff and uh, making it about stuff. But don't listen to Trump. Donald Trump is playing on your fears. He, he's taking that fear that we're all feeling right now and he's turning it into uh, political points to gain uh, prestige in the election or whatever you want to call it. He's, he's using fear and that's not the kind of president we need. We need a president um, that's going to unite us in these times and not try to divide us. He's, 
He's wanting people to come out and say the words radical Islamic terrorism. And I don't understand why. Terrorism is terrorism. It doesn't matter who perpetrates it. It's it's terrorism, you know. It doesn't who cares if it's you know, uh Islam or if it's a Christianity group targeting uh, abortion doctors and stuff. I'm getting a pretty neat little shot right here of the courthouse, sorry. But anyway, yeah, like I was saying, you know, if it's, a, you know, people when, when these guys go in to shoot up a place in the name of uh, Christianity, you don't ever hear radical Christianity terrorism. So why should we, I mean, he's playing on fear. It's stupid and he's playing on our, on our fears and he's getting people that are uh, you know, not, you know, they're, they're scared and they have every right to be. It's a scary world, but don't let your fears get the best of you. And once again, my, my thoughts, my heart, uh, good vibes going out to everyone in Orlando and the, the gay community in general and to everyone who lost somebody. Uh, just know that there are those of us out here who love you and, uh, we support you. drive is over this is actually four hours after I got here and uh, it's time to start working so I thought I'd show you a couple of other things that I get to do at night So the vacuuming is done. Vacuuming? No. That's what's next. The, the sweeping is done. And now it's time for the vacuum. Got a couple of ducks. Strolling into the parking lot. All right, well, that was some more stuff that I do at night. I didn't cover everything. Uh, I basically wanted to rush and get done because, I mean, I hate, I hate doing the cleaning and stuff up there, but that's like the biggest part of my job, really, so. I wanted to go ahead and get that done. So, you saw the... All the, I think I got the sweeping and the vacuuming done on this vlog, which I'm sure you're all like super excited about. And now it's 7:18 in the morning. I'm going home. It's my Friday, which is your Monday. No, it's my the start of my Saturday. Actually, sort of. It might working overnights is weird. Last night was my Friday. When I came in, that was my Friday shift. And now I'm heading home and I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to wake up this afternoon and it's going to be like my Saturday morning. So I'm excited about that unless someone calls in sick and I got to go to work, which has happened before. Look, there's the lake, guys. I live relatively close to it. You can see the lake from my front, my front porch. So, oh man, I'm tired. I'm glad I got all that all the stuff about Orlando out that I wanted to say. I mean, there's a lot, this ongoing thing, lots of stuff happening. I've been reading the news on it this morning while waiting on my replacement to come in. But, uh, my message at the beginning is still the same. So, I have nothing new to add until something new pops up because they're going to start, they're going to start the whole, you know, gun controls, this sparks the issue with gun control, even though it never, the fire of that hasn't gone out, it's igniting again, apparently, even though the fire is still burning, gun control is a very divisive issue in America right now, there's my bank, it's a historic bank on the, on the square of my town, and then, of course, it's going to bring up Islamic terrorism, radical Islamic terrorism, or whatever they're trying to get Obama to say, all these people. 
and God, and all the hate for gay people coming out is just, oh, it's sickening. So, but uh, this is just the kind of things that happen, I guess, in this crazy world. That sucks, but hey, you know what? It can be really good sometimes, too. Life isn't always this challenging and and brutal. Sometimes it can be really beautiful, too, so I don't ever forget that. But other than that, uh, I might go and mess with the kids when I get home. Let, let you guys see how I, how I like to roll into the <laughs> house sometimes when I'm in a good mood. Because I, I relatively am, you know? It's like tragedies like this really make you appreciate all that you have and, and you know I do have a, a fairly I, I say fairly I have a really good life I'm you know uh, I have you know I'm happy most days in a good mood uh, most of the time if I'm in a bad mood it's just because I'm hungry or sleepy that's just the kind of guy I am uh, I don't really get that worked up about things I will get worked up about a certain political type things that's why I try not to talk about it too much because I get really really angry I did a video a while back where I had been drinking a few beers and I decided that I was gonna go off on a rant about Donald Trump and all that I'm trying not to do that anymore it gets me really worked up and I actually starts making me feel ill so I've tried to calm down on that it's just uh, you know I feel passionately about things sometimes and the, you know that just has I me mean, sometimes I just go off like if you've watched all my videos I'm a hundred percent positive that in those videos I have said something stupid and or offensive to people uh, because I jumped the gun and just went off and got angry and I was all passionate about something and I just started going off on it and I'm and you know and also my channel's been around for quite a while now so like the same person that started making these videos is not who I am today, if that makes sense. Uh, I mean, some of the core beliefs are probably still there, but other than that, uh, you know, I'm not the same person. I've grown and I've changed. But I'm going off on a whole tangent. I'm just, it's just a, it's a, it's a, well, I would say it's a nice day, but it's cloudy. But I think it's supposed to get sunny in a little bit. Clouds are going to move on. No more flooding rain down here for now. And uh, I think it's going to be a good day. You know, I think we're going to have a, a beautiful day. And it's the perfect way to honor those that were killed by just, you know, having a great day. And don't, not letting the fear get the best of you. You know, you, you can be sad and you can be scared, but don't let it overwhelm you. And that's the best way we can honor them. And also, it's the only way that we can fight terrorism. The only way to fight terrorism is to not be terrified. So, and, uh, you know, once again, if, if I've ever said anything offensive or offended anyone, uh, sometimes it's okay. Sometimes assholes need to be offended. That's just how life is. But uh, I try not to, you know, just be offensive just to be offensive. Uh, this blog's probably vlog, by whatever you want to call it. I'm tired. Uh, it's probably going to be longer than my last one. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys are, appre are appreciating this. Yeah, I hope you're appreciating all I do for you guys, for shit's sakes. Now, I hope you guys are, are semi-enjoying these. Uh, I know I've only done two. Probably no one's even watched. I know no one's watched my other one. I haven't uploaded it yet. Uh, I'm getting my daughter to uh, draw me a thumbnail that's like my new thing I like her to draw me my thumbnails for the video and stuff and uh, but this uh, my next two days off I'm gonna actually try to do a couple things with the kids and do stuff uh, outdoorsy type stuff with the kids uh, when I say outdoorsy I mean my backyard because I'm not probably gonna go camping or anything I work nights so I'm gonna sleep until about six o'clock tonight probably by the time I go to bed but yeah, I'm going to do some stuff with the kids, with the family, uh, try to do a few recordings. Maybe we'll go to the beach and do some of that good stuff. We'll see. Um, but other than that, I think this is going to call it. I don't think I'm going to mess with the kids when I get home. I think I'm just going to end this right here because it's already going pretty long, uh, especially since it's just me, like, you know, 
talking and ranting and raving about stuff so and a few scenes of my work interspersed but other than that uh, I'm gonna go and I will see you guys on the next vlog or video that I do whatever I whatever I do first bye guys